So I need your guys' help. Um, I need a lot of help. After that song. Um, I need you guys to tell me, Van, that you really, 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 really fucking hate me. But don't. Um, you guys are all hip. I understand that. You know about this show tonight. And I think that's incredible. But don't get obscure on me. When I'm asking for a band that you hate, I'm talking a band that everybody around here is going to know. I'm talking a band that you just have to hear so much. Um, who do you guys hate? Yeah. All right, here's the thing. Don't go to the opposite end of the spectrum. I know that Nickelback just made a video with Avril Lavigne, and I know that it's incredible. Because I've watched it a thousand times. And it's so, so good. And so I know they're on your mind, but I urge you to not say Nickelback, not say Creed, not say Dave Matthews Band. Give me something. I'm, I'm, I'm challenging you guys because I think that you guys can handle the challenge. Tell me a band that fucking sucks, that's not so obvious, but at the same time, you're gonna say it, people are gonna hate it. Maroon 5. Maroon 5. Pretty good. We're gonna do this for Maroon 5. Ah, who said that? What's your name? Joe. What is it? Joe. This song goes out, this song goes out to you, Joanna. I have a song called I'm Proud of You, Joanna. I should have dedicated that to you. How come you didn't tell me ahead of time? Next time you should do that. Um, so I got to tour over in the UK with an idol of mine, uh, Bob Nastanovich from Pavement, this last year. He saw me play in Des Moines, Iowa, and uh, he just happened to be at the bar, because that's where he lives. And he met me, and he followed me to the merch table, and he bought one of everything I had, and he said, hey man, you ever been to the UK? And I was like, no. He's like, you want to go? Like, Duh. <laughs> and I thought he was really drunk or like coked out or something, and so I thought that it was not going to happen. He said, give me your email address. I was like, okay, cool. And we had a beer and a shot, and then the next morning, uh, I woke up like noon, and I had an email from 7 a.m. Uh, saying, hey man, let's get this going. And we only got a couple months. So I got to go over there and tour with him, it was incredible. But every night on that tour, I would say, Hey, is there a band that you guys really fucking hate? And before I could even finish the sentence, everybody in unison would go, Mumford and Sons! <laughs> and it was like, at first it was like, oh, huh, that's awesome, you know? And, and I kind of was like, yeah, I hate them too, you know? Um, they're not a bad band, but I just, you know, I don't like, you know, I don't like having to overhear people say, God, who would have thought to put banjo in music? You know, and like, and then just have to be like, people have been doing that for so fucking long, you know? And it's like, God, this band is so innovative. Who would put, who would put banjo in music? Um, so, like, after the first night, I was like, oh, this is funny, you know? And then I would say the next night, and not in a different city, and it would be like, I'd be in Manchester, and everything. Like, Mumford and Sons! And then, like, on the fourth night, it became clear that they were almost accusing me of, like, making Mumford & Sons popular. Like, I was an extension of, you know, like, it'd be like if I went over there during the Iraqi war and everybody was, you know, just like, you're from America, you are George Bush, <laughs> you know? Like, it was that kind of thing. They were like, you're from America, you made Mumford & Sons popular. And, like, so on the fourth night, I was like, look, guys, I didn't make Mumford & Sons popular. <laughs> I started, like, taking it as, like, a personal affront, and I was like, you know, you guys birthed this band, man. Like, don't blame me. <laughs> You know, and then if they were amazing, you'd be like, yeah, there are, it's like the Beatles, you know? You know, like, don't you, that's not fair. Um, so anyways, there's a long way of saying, this is a song called Lucky Caller, and uh, it, it goes out to Joanna. Um, and everybody take a moment to look around the room and make sure that Adam Levine is not lurking in the shadows, as he often is.
the real truth is I just don't think I can come outside today.